five. Preliminary disclosures. So there's a couple of things I want to talk about this. When you go through the divorce process, both parties in an amicable divorce, in any divorce, I don't know why I said that, need to do their preliminary disclosures. This is an income and expense declaration, schedule of assets and debts. These documents do not get filed with the court. These are purely for disclosure. I think the 142 even says do not file with the court. So those are purely for disclo disclosure and they are mandatory. It's a mandatory step in the process. Um, I don't collect those. If you're my client, you guys do those on your own. You share them with each other. They don't go to court. They're just to help you guys share with each other what you guys have so you can reach a fair agreement. That's that's the purpose of the disclosure process. Um, the final declaration of disclosure, however, can be waived. So um, there are two sets of disclosures, preliminary and final. What is final used for? If you Let's say you are going through maybe a, a divorce with a, attorneys and it's taking a long time and they can't do it in five weeks like I can. Uh, and they, they're going through the court system. In those cases, you would have um, preliminary disclosures done, initial petition filed, response filed. Each party does their uh, disclosures within 60 days. Now, let's say you're not in agreement. The, the attorneys can't get you guys into a settlement. They set a case for trial, and that's going to be six, eight months out. Before you go to trial, on top of potential discovery and all that, there's going to be a, a final declaration of disclosure. And it's basically updating, you know, say, hey, we did our preliminaries, got all that information out there for purposes of settlement. But now six months later, we're going to trial. We need to update that. Has there been changes? The court's going to want, usually within a couple of weeks, they're going to want fresh disclosures. And that's what the final disclosure is. If you're going through amicable divorce with me, there's a form we've attached as part of the judgment package that um, basically is a uh, Waiver of final declaration of disclosure. So we definitely recommend you do that. I've had clients uh, earlier in the week, I didn't mention this earlier, that they were doing their final declaration of disclosure. They're they literally going through that process of doing their disclosures all, all over again. Totally unnecessary. Uh, I know the instructions of the court can be confusing. And that's why if you use my service, we kind of just cut through all that. I take care of it all for you. You don't have to worry about that.